God love her, I swear. Her mouth runs like a clapper on a goose's tuchus. i try again. What do you want? Oh. Well, didn't somebody wake up on the wrong side of a cane this morning? Yeah, sorry about that. I just... I was in the middle of lip singing song. Elvis. Well, with the mood you're in, I'm surprised Elvis hadn't left the building a long time ago. No, 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 I'm sorry, hon. I didn't mean that to jump up on you like that. I'm sorry. Yeah. So how you doing, hon? Are you keeping your nose clean? Oh, yeah. Which is more than what I can say for your family. Speaking of which, has you talked to Dixie since she got back from a trip here up north? Or has Mad Dog got her working her balls off down at that dive bar? Oh, yeah, yeah. I saw her on Saturday. Yeah, we went junkin' at the flea market. Oh, really? Well, ain't that a surprise. So, did you find any bargains? Oh, I got this beautiful hat. Yeah, got a beautiful hat at the flea market. You know, and I, I wanted to keep looking around. I also got the cute keychain. Yeah, yeah, I love, you know, I, I love looking around. Oh, I found a man, too. Yeah, I found a man. He's... Mr. Wonderful. Oh, that's nice, yeah. You and Dixie always was bargain shoppers when it came to finding a man. Listen to this. Let's just cuddle tonight. Yeah. Actually, I'm not sure which way to go. That sounds like quite a Prince Charming you got there, yeah. However, I think he needs to lay off the camels, though. Yeah. Oh, well, I'm here before you. So how's Dixie holding up anyway since she got back from a trip? You know, she had quite a time while she was up here. Yeah, well, you know, I wanted to keep looking around, but she just wanted to go home. Those damn corns, you know. Corns the size of Texas. I'm sure it didn't help all them years having to chase Ruby Jean away from all them red light districts. Oh, well, that's another story for another day. But anyway, I'm having a party, and when Dixie was here, I told her to tell you, yeah. Yeah, I'm having a party, she didn't tell you. Well, yeah, Dixie and Sapphire and Ruby Jean is going to be here, your whole family. And I figured that since they was coming, I would invite you, too. Yeehaw, a party. Yeah, you know I love a good party. Oh, yeah, I know you never like to miss a good party. Yeah. However, I need you to listen and listen closely, and hear me out before you tell me you ain't going to come. There is one person on the guest list that could cause you a little bit of trouble in particular, because I know you have a history. Uh-huh. Who? Grip! Why that old coot? Well, now, I told Daisy, and she promised me that he'd be on his best behavior, and I know that's asking for a lot. But anyway, I can't have no knockdown drag out, you understand me? This is a very classy party. There's a lot of very important people that's going to be here. So just exactly what does you plan on doing if he gets out them lobster claw, pitchy finger hand things there? I'll deck him. I will. I'll just deck him. Oh, now don't get your bloomers in a twist. If things really get out of hand, we'll just have Bubba take care of it. Yeah, Bubba. He, oh, you don't know him. Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah, he's going to be the bouncer. He's going to make sure that nothing gets out of hand. All right. Leave the cane at home. Oh, please say you'll come. We'd love to have you there. It wouldn't be a party without you. Yeah, I'll be there. Yeah, I can't wait to see you all. Especially that Ruby Jean. Oh, yeah, she's going to be here, too. Yeah. Has you seen her lately? She's quite grown up now. Yeah, I seen Ruby Jean the other day. Yeah, she must be working as a maid over at that Red Roof Inn. Yeah. I seen her going into one of them rooms. But we didn't have no time to talk. Ruby is the maid at the Red Roof Inn. Huh. Yeah. Well, something like that for here. Oh, well, listen, I got to get off this phone. I got to continue with my guest list here. Yeah, well, I'm so glad you was going to come and leave the king to home. And see if you can catch a ride with Dixie and Sapphire. Just make sure you let Sapphire sitting up in the front. You know, she gets very car sick with them eyes and all. Yeah. All right. 
Okay. All right, Granny Knuck and Fuss, I look so forward to seeing you at the party. Bye. <laughs>